We're heading to the coast range today to do some scouting for some early fall mushrooms. I'm hoping that we're gonna find some lobsters, maybe some rainbow chanterelles. We're gonna be going to an area that's about 13, 1400 feet. It's influenced by the marine layer at the coast. So even though we haven't had any rain, this area gets a lot of moisture from the coast and hopefully it's gonna be enough to pop up some beautiful lobster mushrooms. to our spot we are quite literally maybe 200 feet from a main road and you can hear the traffic behind me but we're just gathering up our gear packing some snacks and we're gonna be out and it is the moisture in the air here and, and the uh, ground is much better than I thought it was gonna be I think it's definitely gonna be some lobsters here and uh, in a little bit, we'll go up a little higher and go find some rainbow chanterelles. But otherwise, this is going to be an awesome hunt. So let's get out and have some fun. Let's go. So we're just a few minutes into the woods here. Check this out. We haven't had any rain. And it's like you're in a rainforest already. Check out all this wood sorrel that's growing around here. This wood sorrel actually is edible. And this time of year, it tastes almost like a green grape. So delicious. I think I'm gonna gather some of this up before we head out. Bring it home, throw it in a salad. It'd be an awesome addition to some salad. Right now we're just gonna be looking through this stuff. I've got several waypoints on my GPS where we found lobsters before and when we find them they're not going to be uh they're not going to be camouflaged like our morel friends these guys are bright orange and it should be good so let's go get some so we're on the right track i just found my first piece of evidence that lobsters might be near here this is a white russula it's dirty and gross but the lobster mushroom comes from starts out there's this white russula underground and then the mycelium from the lobster mushroom attaches itself and parasitizes it. That's a big word. And basically converts this thing biologically from a white boring russula that nobody would want to eat. Oh, maybe some people would. To this delicious lobster mushroom. And it's pretty awesome to see nature take its course like that. So if these are around, then we might find some lobsters, but it's pretty dry. I haven't seen a whole lot of evidence yet, but I haven't seen any evidence of anybody else. So if we're, if we're lucky, we might be the first people in this spot. Hopefully we are, but uh, let's keep going and see what, uh, what we can find. Check out how green and lush this area is. We're in the middle of summer. We haven't had rain since I don't know when, and we got moss on the ground. We got wood sorrel. We got all kinds of other ground berries gone. We got ferns. Oh, man. You know what this means? It's fall mushroom time. They're so close. I can smell them. I really want to find a couple lobsters and make some lobster cakes or bisque or something lobster mushroom esque. So. In the right area. GPS says we're in the right spot. We'll get them. Well, the GPS doesn't lie. Check this out. You guys see it? You see it over there? This is our first lobster mushroom. Look at this dude. Oh, yes. Oh, and it's Primo. Oh, yes. 
Look at this guy. Right now we're following this game trail with its nice east southeast facing slope. And down below us over here, it's telling me that we have found lobsters here before. There's a little creek that runs through here, so I'm hoping that some of the moisture from that creek is uh, trickling back this way and gonna give us some lobsters. Somebody's firing away with some target practice. Not too far from here. But they're far enough where it's not gonna reach us, so I'm pretty safe. So I saw another one hiding over here. Somewhere. Where oh there you are. Hello, my friend. Oh, this is chunky. Oh <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that! <laughs> oh! Don't you want to just take a bite out of that? Look at that! Dang! Like I said, get a GPS, find your spots, mark them, and come back every year. Oh, this little hump here is going to be loaded with them, so. Dang! So I came to one of my spots here that has been productive for me for many years and I'm really disappointed. You know, being a good steward, steward, steward of the forest is important. Somebody's been here, but look, look at what they did. See how they, they definitely harvested several lobsters in this spot. And they just and they just tore this up and that just bugs the crap out of me all you gotta do look put your stuff back like this pretty easy cover it up protect the mycelium also hide the evidence guys if you don't want other people to come to your spots hide the evidence <sighs> anyway I'm gonna blow through this area pretty quick because somebody's been through here. I'm gonna go back the other way because I think I got was in some good untouched territory, but disappointing guys. Come on, clean your act up. We're gonna go check on some early season rainbow chanterelles in a very familiar spot. It should be popping. Last year at this time, there were some buttons and some ones that were actually big enough to pick. So we're gonna go check out some spots, probably leave a lot more than we pick but uh, we might bring a few home for dinner. So this area is looking kind of dry. There's still lots of moss and ferns and things, and it looks great, but it's, it's pretty dry. So where we're heading is to the edge of this, this area, and it drops down into a canyon. And that canyon is gonna get a little bit more moisture. There's a creek at the bottom, but there's gonna be some slopes in there that I think that'll be more east and west facing and we'll get that direct hot sun in the middle of the day. So there might be a little bit of moisture out there that will hold some, hopefully some chanterelles. Seeing signs of some other mushrooms popping up, some amanitas and some other little brown mushrooms that I have no idea what they are, but I'm uh, pretty optimistic. We're almost there, I'm starting to get in this area, but take a look what this looks like. This whole forest Looking pretty awesome. A lot of moss on the ground, a lot of greenery already. However, I did see some logging companies in here marking a bunch of trees. They're clearing out, thinning out. I don't know. Hopefully it's not gonna be anytime soon, but there's some brand new markers that make me think that this place, at least a, a portion of it, is gonna get cleared out really soon, which should be Horrible for mushrooms, but I don't own this place, so I can't really dictate what they do. So hopefully they're not going to take everything and just devastate it because that would really suck. Well, so far, our search for chanterelle buttons have come up empty. It's getting hot up here. 
I haven't seen any evidence of anybody picking. I haven't seen any signs of the chanterelle buttons popping up, so it might be a little early. We might need a little bit of rain before they start showing up. I think last year at this time we did get one blast of rain coming through early August, and all of a sudden they started showing up. We haven't gotten that yet. The ground is not dry. It's relatively moist, but I think we need a little bit more, but we still get a little ways before we go back to the car, so we might still find them because we're in the prime spot where I found them last year, so if they're here, this is the one spot that they're going to be, so let's, let's keep hunting.